I'm just take it. We'll go this way. Okay. We will continue to keep you informed as this story unfolds. Now, let me be clear. We're here to ask a very reasonable question, very similar to what I asked Jody, but I want it to be even more concise. I don't want people to say it's leading. I want Rachel Nolly to tell me, have her candidates uh, reversed their original positions of defunding the police? Albertans want to know, you know, with the massive crime wave we've seen recently, with women being targeted especially, is Rachel Notley going to defend women and stand up for victims of crime and fund police departments? Or when she gets into power, are her MLAs, her radical MLAs, going to continue on with this defund the police rhetoric? We're going to find out. So this is the tweet that we saw that she said she was welcoming all media. Yeah, but she's, a, she's a welcoming the accredited media. Though. Well, I, so I'll I don't, take I don't media want to questions. Hairs, so I don't want to split hairs here. So. I mean, the Premier took questions from me. I think that the federal government needs to step up and let Canadians know that defending yourself while you're being attacked is something that you should be able to do. Well, when you hear the kind of stories that you just heard from uh, Chief McPhee, I, I don't think we want to be creating a situation where people are taking safety into their own hands. Th these are dangerous, dangerous people. So did the mayor well, of Calgary. I mean, uh, just a few months ago, a handful of months ago, you were fighting tooth and nail again against increasing the police budget, and you were actively supporting defund the police rhetoric. I'm just wondering when you realized that police forces were not optional, did it take you know the s random stabbings, wives getting stabbed, police officers getting killed to realize that it was important to fund police departments. And how can Calgarians trust you when you flip-flop on basic issues like public safety? You know, I think that it's totally reasonable that I'm here. I mean, it may, it may very do you work well for the party? Uh, we're contractors. But so, You're contractors. So, Security contractors to stop media from asking the ex-premier questions? I'm not questions, stopping or? anybody from asking anything. I'm just well, you are, gonna, you are stopping me. Well, if, push comes to shove. I mean, we can get into a debate here. I don't want to get into a debate here. I don't want to get into a debate here. All I'm saying, you can do to avoid any any hassle is that uh, they're not going to entertain your questions. So I don't they're want not going to entertain my questions. Right. So it's as plain as that. Not That's the questions. NDP position. That's right. Uh, you are very close to me right now. You're we're, being confrontational. We're, we're, we're having a gentleman's discussion. Sure. Here, okay. Well, I'm glad you agree, and no I'm going to I'm going to stand here, ask the question that I came here to ask. We're having an adult conversation. The question that Albertans want to hear an answer to. All I'm it's doing very is, simple. All I'm doing is conveying the message. Okay. I'm just take it. We'll go this way. Okay. Rachel Notley needs to answer questions all day, all night. Over the last week, she has been harping on Daniel Smith, saying Daniel Smith is not taking questions from the media, not taking enough questions. Well, Rachel Notley can take 20 questions a day from the CBC, but what does it matter? The CBC will ask her about how racist Danielle Smith is and how evil her economic policies are. But if I dare to ask uh, Ra Ra Rachel Notley about her candidates defund the police history, well, I get thrown out. I get dragged out of a press conference, just like Justin Trudeau. The issue is the stabbings that happen every day in Calgary. Bodies in suitcases, people being thrown off high rises, shootings. And the problem is, it, one of the problems is, I guess, is it disproportionately affects women. Women are the targets of this violence, especially the mass stabbing that just happened down the road there. We want to know what you guys are going to do if you've changed your mind at all. Calgarians want to know. Uh, we haven't, uh, we certainly want to make a safe place for Calgarians so to live and work. Right? Yeah. That's for sure. So, what's, thank you. What's the plan, though? My questions are reasonable. I, I, I want to be friendly with these guys. You know, I want to turn over a new leaf. I think that they, you know, they really believe in what they're doing, but the problem is they need to be upfront about what they are planning for Albertans. Calgarians want to know what is going to happen to the city if Rachel Notley takes the reins of power. Will the police get defunded in a couple years when nobody's paying attention? We need an answer to that. And Rachel Notley today showed that her and her team are not willing to answer very basic questions. Please consider liking this video and subscribing to this channel so we can get more news like this out as soon as it happens.